Well, it could all come down to today. A jury is set to decide the fate of Dallas County Commissioner John Wiley Price. Now, this is, of course, a case that we've been following for years. Price is accused of taking more than a million dollars in bribes. Channel 8's Brett Ship joins us live outside the Dallas County Courthouse. Brett? Well, we're playing that waiting game that started this morning around 8.30, between 8.30 and 9 o'clock. Jurors are inside the jury room deliberating the charges against John Wiley Price. We have discussed the, the ups and downs of the trial. Now all there is to really discuss are the charges and what is before the jury at this moment. I want to go over the charges just real quick, just to, to reiterate. Uh, first of all, there is that one count of conspiracy to commit bri bribery that could get him five years in prison. There is the deprivation of honest services by mail fraud. That's up to 20 years. But let's remember, Judge Lynn said a few days ago that even if the jury convicts him on that mail fraud count, which is, brings the stiffest penalty, she's going to toss that. So let's disregard that charge. There is one count of conspiracy to defraud the IRS and then one, two, three counts of subscribing to and uh, fraudulent income tax, filing a fake income tax with the IRS. That's up to three years. So it looks like from my reading, all he could l really get uh, is five years in prison if he is found guilty. So what happens? The jury comes back, finds him innocent of all charges. Then he goes right back to being Dallas County Commissioner, where he has been since 1985. If he is convicted on any of these counts, here's what's going to happen. If he's convicted on any of these counts, he will probably be let go. Now, Judge Barbara Lynn has the ability to put conditions of his release on. She probably won't imprison him. She'll probably just let him go. So we're told, and then he would probably not be able to serve pending his appeal. There will likely be an appeal of some sort, but that appeal can't come until after sentencing, and sentencing is generally comes within two to three months of the conviction. So all that's down the road. Today we're just watching the jury. Will they come out in a few hours or will they come out in a few days? It's a very complex case. Many people expect it to go at least a couple of days of deliberation, but nobody is fool enough, at least especially me, to say how long the jurors will be out. We'll just be monitoring the situation here at the federal courthouse in downtown Dallas. Brett Ship, Channel 8 News. All right, Brett, our thanks to you. And of course, Brett will be at the courthouse all day, as he mentioned, as the jury deliberates. Stay with News 8 for updates both on TV and online.